and today we'll be telling you about Midnight Solar's four string PV disconnecting combiners. We call them the MN PV4 HV. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> There's two of these. There's a basic and a deluxe model. And we'll show you the difference between those in a few minutes here. But we're going to actually show you how to hook up on the deluxe model the SPDs or the lightning surge protection device. <laughs> another tongue Thank twister. You, another tongue twister. <laughs> But we'll show you how to do this. My name is John and this is Power Time and welcome to Midnight Solar. Coffee's good this morning, John. Yeah, it is. It is. Somebody's making it pretty strong though. Oh, good. I keep us all wound up. <laughs> what is that? That's my donut. Swiped it from Rob. Has he got more? Yeah. It's the cameraman. <laughs> well, I want one. How come he didn't give me Rob, one? Where's my donut? How it. come you're not giving me a donut? <laughs> ah! 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 Give me that. That's mine. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Look what I got. <laughs> you're, you're scary. You're really scary. I sit on the set with you. You're mean. <laughs> He's very nice. He gave Whoa. it to me. <laughs> you okay, Rob? <laughs> Uh, Join, you're ruthless. We got a combiner here. You want to tell us about it? This combiner is awesome. If there's an emergency and the firefighters or homeowner need to get to the electricity, they just flip the switch right near the array. This is a huge improvement over the previous systems that didn't have this capability. It, it's really safe. All you have to do is flip the switch and you know the power's off. The firefighters are going to love these. Because PV combiners are located near the solar array, Midnight has come up with an optional emergency shutoff switch called the birdhouse. I want you to remember, the birdhouse is going to be communicating all the time with Midnight Solar's disconnecting combiner. It's going to be an emergency situation. They're going to run up and they're going to hit that button. Now you know for a fact that the power is going to be turned off on the roof and the firefighters are going to feel perfectly safe. Here at Midnight our combiners are all made of heavy gauge aluminum and they're powder coated so they're not going to rust, crack or break or deteriorate through time. Joanne and I like this one. This is a four-string disconnecting combiner. It's the smallest and most basic one that we have here at Midnight Solar. And it's listed to the UL1741. Now this thing even meets the requirements of the NEC 2011. As Joanne will show you here, it comes with a half-inch conduit knockout at the bottom, several of them, and a din rail space for up to four fuse holders. And John, it also has mounting for optional birdhouse power supply. It comes with color-coded snap-on bus bar covers, 80-amp bus bars, and a 115-amp switch. Another feature on the entire disco line is these dead fronts. These are clear, but we've highlighted the letters so you can see it. When you snap them in down here, you're going to be able to see right through it. And it's, what it's going to do is it's going to keep the condensation out of there. And if somebody comes up and accidentally drops a wrench, you're not going to cause any kind of arcing in there. This is a great feature. We don't recommend using the birdhouse with the basic four-string combiner. It doesn't get feedback from the birdhouse. We do, however, recommend it for the deluxe model. Here John and I have the four-string deluxe version. It's the same as the basic, but it comes with 15 amp fuses and fuse holders and the four half-inch strain reliefs and the Midnight Solar SPD 600 surge arrester. Now this deluxe is also fully connected to the birdhouse using a shunt trip circuit and a micro switch. Now this micro switch is going to keep track of the position in which the birdhouse is so it knows the combiner has been shut off or not. Now John and I are going to show you how to install the SPD surge arrester on the MNPV4 Deluxe model. We'll show you the steps on what to do. Now we'll walk you through what to do when you get your combiner. It's going to be a little loud. You pop the lid with the screwdriver and as you see the little dead front pops right off. You'll have your SPD lightning arrestor in this bag and a little hardware kit to help you install it. While John's uncoiling the wire on his lightning arrestor, I wanted to point out that there is a manual inside with full instructions on how to install your SPD. Go. Okay, in our little packet here, the first piece we want to use is our rubber O-ring. Let me get that on our wires here. So that goes on the outside of the chassis. Yeah. What we're going to do is, when we put it on, I'll explain it here in a sec. Don't want to get it too tight because what we do is we'll make it bulge. Don't like any bulging. 
Okay, then we take our little ring here. Now when we tighten it up, get a good shot here if you can. This little ring, we don't want to get it too tight because what will happen is it will start bulging out. And it's, all it is is just to make a nice tight fit. What's this little lock thing here do, John? Well, this is, if you take this off, warranty is expired. <laughs> that means it's been opened. Yeah, it's been opened. Somebody's tampered with it. That's why I like to take it. I like to put it to the back side. So if somebody's walking by, they're not going to catch it on the clothes. Okay, now our green one, when we're installing our wires, the green's going to go to the earth ground. We don't want to make any, I'll do it up here to end. You don't want to make any really sharp bends. You want to try to make them just as round as you can. So what we'll do is we'll hook that down here. Give yourself extra wire to play with. It's always best to have too much than too little. So I'll cut right about there. Grab one of my handy dandy little tools here. So you're going to strip that now? Yeah. Okay, now I have the wire cut to length. What I do is, well, on the bus bar down here, I use one of the smaller posts. I leave the bigger posts for the bigger wires. What I like to do is I like to take the wire and run it right up to the bus bar just so she's, whoops, just so she's not inside it. Right up to where she just touches. And I'll come back and retorque this here in a sec. Okay, now the red one, what we're going to do with it is we're going to run it up the side here. Again, nice easy bends. What we'll do is we'll bring it right up here and connect it on top. And you can see PV positive. That's where we're going to hook her up to. Again, leave yourself enough wire that you can play with it. You don't want too much, but just enough that when you have, you'd rather have too much than too little. Again, let's go strip her off just a little. Yeah, you don't want bare wire showing, right? No, not on this. I run it so she just here to the right to the bitter end so you can see it. And we crimp, give her a good crimp. Okay, we take her down just nice and snug. There we go. Now on our black one, what we're gonna want to do it's the same thing. This is where I like to kind of keep my wires so they look nice and neat. I don't like them spreading them out to the case. So you're just going to get hung up on something else. Again, nice easy turns. What I'll do is I'll bring her up in here. That way it leaves room. So if anybody else has to run anything up in here. So that's the PV negative? Yes. The black goes to PV negative. And this nice easy bend. PV negative. Well, this, this is pretty simple. Yeah, it, it's not tough at all. You know, look at some of the systems that we've wired. <laughs> I like these. Nice, clean, real simple. Now, again, you don't want to put the plastic inside the bus bar. No. Or it won't make correct contact. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now. Nice and snug. That's all she needs to be. Looks good. Just a quick run through. Now our red wire is going to come across and it's going to go up to our PV positive up here. And then you just want these nice and snug. Your green wire is going to come down and it's going to go to your earth ground. Got a little bus bar cover there. It's green. It's going to make it real easy for you. And our black wire we're going to take down to the PV negative. Here we have the deluxe model. It's all wired up. This is how it would look if it was connected to your array. With your wires coming in, it's going to go through the strain relief down here on the bottom. It comes up, you got your PV positives up here on top, and below you got your PV negatives down here. Over here you have your PV positive out and your PV negative. And it's a four string. You have four strings coming in. And that's it for Midnight Solar's four string disconnecting combiner. We have more videos coming out on the disco line for you. I'm John. And I'm Joanne. And look for us next time on Power Time. Then and the firefighters and homeowner or something really needs to get the emergency off. The emergency, the emergency off? off? <laughs> you just flip the switch. <laughs> firefighters are safe and so is the homeowner. Thank you. See what adrenaline does to you? <laughs> adrenaline. Adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> Drink a minor.
it doesn't get feedback from the birdhouse. We do recommend it, however, with the deluxe model of the four string combiner. <laughs> oh, the light's not on. <laughs> it's way down here. <laughs> because PV combiners are lo located somewhere in totem land. <laughs> That's hard to say. I, have, I won't even try to go there. <laughs> but the SPDs, oh, what am I doing? 